we are going to talk about parallel and perpendicular lines. Parallel lines have the same slope. Perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals. Some people like to say opposite reciprocals. If the slope of one line is one-third, the slope of another line is negative three over one, these are opposite reciprocals. And notice, if I multiply them together, I will get negative one. Vertical and horizontal lines are perpendicular. The line y equals five is a horizontal line. Horizontal lines, y equal lines, have a slope. It just happens to be zero. Vertical lines, these are the x equal lines. Vertical lines have no slope. It is undefined. If you forget, maybe this will help you remember. Vertical lines have no slope. So let's do a few problems. Let me first remind you of the slope intercept form of an equation. Y is equal to MX plus B. Hopefully you remember this from another video. But if Y is by itself, the slope is whatever is multiplied by the X. I can use this formula to write an equation of a line, but many times they do not give me the Y intercept. If this is the case, I have to plug in the X and the Y that they give me from the point. Then I plug in the slope. I do a little algebra and I solve for the Y intercept, which is B. Let's get to work. Write an equation for the line that is parallel to 6X plus Y equals 4 and passes through the point negative 2, 3. I need the slope. I do know that my line is parallel to 6X plus Y equals 4. I will subtract 6X from each side. The slope of this line is negative 6. Now since my line is going to be parallel, I'm going to use the same slope. I will have my point. I will have the slope, negative 6. And now I am ready to plug it into my equation. The problem is I don't have B. So I will plug in the X and the Y from my point. Y is 3. The slope is negative 6 times x, x is negative 2, plus b. To solve for b, subtract 12 from each side. I have found b, but I'm not done. You need to write the equation of the line. Well, we have the slope is negative 6. We have b is negative 9. Our answer is y is equal to negative 6x minus 9. Write an equation for the line that is perpendicular to 3x plus 8y equals 4 and passes through the point 0, 4. They gave me a point that my line passes through. They did not give me the slope. The information they did give me was that it's perpendicular to this line. Let's find the slope of this line. Let's use the opposite reciprocal and then we will have the slope for our line. Subtract 3x from both sides. I will now divide everything by 8. y will equal negative 3 eighths x plus 4 eighths. I could reduce that to 1 half. The slope of this line is negative 3 eighths. But remember, it said I wanted my line to be perpendicular to this line. I will not use negative 3 eighths. I will use positive 8 over 3. And now I'm ready to write my equation. I need the y-intercept. I will plug in the x for my point, the y for my point, and the slope, and I will do a little algebra. 4 is equal to b. 4 is the y-intercept. I could have also noticed this by the fact that my point was 0, 4. The x was 0. So I knew that this was the y-intercept. I am not done. I have my slope, I have my y-intercept. Your answer is y is equal to 8 thirds x plus 4. If you wanted to put this in standard form, you could multiply everything times 3. You could get your variables on the left. 
I could also write this with the x coefficient being positive by simply multiplying everything by negative 1. So this is standard form. And this is slope-intercept form. Let's try one more. Write an equation of a line that is parallel to the line y equals 7 and passes through the point 3, negative 5. You should be able to write the equation of this line without a lot of calculation. This is the line y equals 7. I want my line to go through the point 3, negative 5. So how will my line look? Will it be going diagonal? Will it be going up and down? Oh, this is a vertical line. And this is the line x is equal to 3. But it said parallel. Well, if it's parallel, I want another y equal line. So I should be able to quickly know that if I want to write an equation of a line parallel to y equals 7, it will be another y line. And if it's going through this point, 3, negative 5, the y is negative 5. My answer is y equals negative 5.